Suddenly a phone rings. <laughs> Suddenly Blossom as soon as I walked up to the door. <laughs> huh. Oh, Lear, will you excuse me? I must take this. Sweet. He pulls a cell phone out of his pocket. I'm a little surprised it's not a rotary phone. Wow. Yeah, go for it, man. Uh. David smiles and walks back to his house. I take a deep breath and enjoy the heavily perfumed air. Man, what a lovely yard. This makes me wish I had put a little more effort into the garden Amanda and I tried to start that one time. Our watermelons grew to the size of cherry tomatoes and then immediately died. Oh my god. Oh, hey, a gargoyle. Am I about to- Oh shit. Oh no, I knocked over his gargoyle! Crap! <clears throat> Keep your word. Guard. Fix that garg. Start. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, no, no. Yep, Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, uh. And then head. Perfect. Go! <laughs> Every dog. Ew. Oh, it was a close one. Oh, that was surprisingly here comes easy. Damien. He looks really upset. Ah! Lear, my sincerest apologies. I have to keep... I have to have kept you waiting. To have kept you waiting. There is an mm -hmm. urgent matter that must att I must attend to. I'm so afraid I must ask you to leave. Oh, no problem, dude. Everything all right? Damien worries the hem of his coat with his fingers and looks away. <clears throat> Everything is perfectly fine, but I, uh... It's Lucian. Oh no, what's wrong? Did he light something on fire? He appears to have well. His teacher needs me to come to the school protest. Do you need help? Oh no, you don't have to. No, let me come with you. Us dad's gotta stick together. Also, your son's a real punk ass. The crotch, the he crotch. really needs a foot up his ass. Hmm. You're right. This is one of Lucian's more elaborate stunts. I would greatly treasure having another parent by my side. I mean, he already resents me, so it's perfect. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Damien and I walk into the school and are immediately greeted by an anxious looking Hugo. Mr. Vega. Eh. I don't remember his voice. I think you made him uh, another hey. snooty guy. <laughs> oh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Damien. We're here over record time. Wait, that was Joseph. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. I wouldn't miss it for the world, dear friend. Wow, whatever it is, it doesn't seem like this is Hugo and Damien's first time to the My Kids Are In Trouble radio. Clearly. Rodeo. I said rodeo. No, said Ro rodeo. I said rodeo. Said radio. No, well, my mouth is getting dry. You said radio. I, I meant rodeo. I'm drinking some water. I'm getting some water. Drink your water. <sighs> rodeo. My kids are in trouble, rodeo. What is it this time? Hmm? This Damien, you have to say to me. Did he like paint an upside down pentagram and chicken's blood on the floor of the classroom? Here to read that we can't see it. Rip. Oh, you no. can't read it? Damien and I fall on the step behind Hugo, who leads us through the through the busy corridors of the school. We pass by several classes in session, and I vaguely wonder if a man is around. Hugo eventually ushers us into a small boiler room with a fright a uh, flight fright. A flight of rickety stairs leading down to the darkness. Be careful, we're going down to the kid my kids in trouble radio. Watch our steps. <laughs> I hear faint voices drifting out from the basement and they don't sound happy. As I'm led into the depths of the school, I recall the antics I got into as an angsty middle schooler. At least I had enough sense to stay out of creepy basements. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> we all should have had that lesson. <laughs> we find another teacher in a boiler room tucked away in the back of the basement. With him are Lucian and Ernest, Hugo's son. Lucian has a bloody nose. Oh, Christ. Thanks for coming. I can't make heads or tails of this. I look around the scene of the crime and see a bunch of bricks and some masonry tools scattered, scattered around. Were you guys trying to fucking brick in a teacher? Hmm. What happened here? Or oh, just punch me! Lucian tried to That's kill all. me! No, I'll fuck <laughs> I. The room falls silent. I was not trying to kill you, dumbass. I was just trying to build a brick wall around you and see what would oh happen. Oh my god. You promised me there was wine down here. You tricked me. Wine? Really? 
Huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. Lucian, did you try to cask of Amontetiliado, Ernest? <laughs> I'm neither good farming nor denying Just that. say I plead the fifth asshole. I turn to Damien and whisper to him. What's, uh, what's the cask of Amontillado? Hmm. It's a classic Edgar Allan Poe short story. Oh, that's Hugo. Yeah. Ah. Too many men! I actually know ah. the story. It's Too on that, it's in the, that, that, uh, DVD Grandma and I got. Uh. Yeah, it's a cool story. <laughs> that's a classic Edgar Allan Poe short story where a man gets his enemy drunk, lures him down to his cellar with a promise of wine of a fine vintage. Yeah, and buries him alive. And buries him alive behind a brick wall. Also happens to be next to his it's wife. It's a lovely story. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, Lucian, you tried to do that to him? The fuck is even wrong with you? I was curious to see how it would turn out. I wasn't actually gonna leave him there. <laughs> what was the thought process here? That that Ernest was just gonna sit still while you slowly built the tomb around him? Clearly, you thought this through. Well, it worked for like twenty minutes because he's an idiot, but. Then he realized that I had lied to him about the wine. And you were cackling maniacally. That sort of tipped me off. Dick. Ernest, 20 minutes. Dad! What? It took you 20 minutes? Son, we just did an entire two-week unit on the cask of Amontillado, and it took you 20 minutes to realize Lucian was leading you into an elaborate ruse? Did you even read the story? No. I mean, like, I read the first five pages, and then I read a review of them. Oh my god. <laughs> what? It's only five pages long, and there are no movies. There's no movie. Oh uh, yeah, you're right. I paid Lucian to read it to me. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Hmm. Actually, he didn't even pay me. So when you think about it, this was me teaching him a lesson. Oh my fucking Christ. Damien and Hugo both have their heads in their hand. I, I'm about to face palm too. Oh my god. First off, that's face an palm. excellent story. Second, there are at least three versions of this that you should watch. They're all really good. And third, oh my and second, god! Don't have that at home. Huh? Are you that dumb? Seriously. Wow, I just mm. You guys are always telling me to engage with the literature, and I dead. I don't see the problem here. Yeah, trying to murder one of your classmates. All right, all right. I'm, I'm filing this under what the hell. Don't do whatever that was again. You two are both suspended for a week. Oh, that's all a week? Ernest and Lucian then high five. Oh my god. They thought they fucking planned this out to get... See, this is why suspensions don't work. Yeah. The teacher starts uh -huh. to stomp up the stairs. They did this on purpose to, to get out of school. Hugo, I'll cover your class. Take your son home. Mr. Bloodmarch, you too. Thank you for your mediation. We all head up the stairs and out of the school in tense silence. Just, Jeez. Jesus Christ. Oh, 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 Skype, come on. Lucian, Damien. Okay, Lucian, Damien, and I all pile into my car and begin the drive home. Lucian immediately puts his hood up and stares out the window angrily, like we did something wrong. Ugh. Ugh. The angst is so with me. Uh, may the angst be I'm with not me. going to therapy again. Hmm. I know, son. It in, it's entirely up to you whether you or not you want to go. But I care about you, and I can see that you're struggling. So if you decide that you would like to speak to a professional about your feelings, we can do that. Damien, you're being too understanding Maybe you here. <laughs> Maybe you can spend this next week looking for a summer job. Hmm? I know how much you want to own your own car. I can't believe Damien is keeping his cool. I am both appalled and impressed. <laughs> Fine. Thanks for not freaking out too hard. That I tried to murder I love my song. classmate horribly, like a prick. To get suspended. <laughs> to get suspended intentionally. Yeah. yeah, I heard the I love you song. Hmm. Lucian continues staring out of the window like a little punk ass. 
I swerve the car and make it bump his face. <laughs> <laughs> Love you too, whatever. Love you too. We spend the rest of the drive in relative silence. I bonk his head against the glass again, because I would absolutely do that. <laughs> ah. The moment we pull into the driveway, Lucian hops out of the hops car, out of the car slams the door, and runs inside. Sorry, Skype has decided to make mm. this jumbled. Ah. I didn't expect to have that conversation in front of you. He and I have had a lot we need to work out. I can see that. Yeah, that's all right. All things considered, Lucian's brick lane was pretty good. So there's your silver lining. <laughs> wow. Huh. Hope, he's, hope he's ready for a future of manual labor. <laughs> <laughs> there is that, yes. He's probably just going through a phase. I really admire how you handled that. Does this kind of thing happen a lot? I admire how you handled that. You were a lot more diplomatic with him than I would have been. I just want what's best for him, and I don't think yelling at him would do either of us any favors. It rarely does. You're a good dad. Aww. Uh, see you around soon. <laughs> I would be more... It would be my honor and my pleasure. I can always smack his forehead against the side of the glass of my car again. Always. Damien bows with a flourish. Damn, he's classy. <laughs> oh. Dun, dun. I come home to find Amanda curled up on the couch with a blanket watching TV. I plop down next to her. <laughs> yeah. Is that yo or yeah? I can't tell. I think that's yo. It's yo. Oh, 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 I saw, oh, oh, oh. But this period looked like an A. It does. <laughs> it's like, it's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I plopped down. Yeah. 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 Yo. What you watching? Hey. Tiny House Hunting Brothers Extreme Edition. Ooh, I love that show. Oh, I hate this show. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't get everything right. The couple on screen bickers back and forth while standing in an extremely small house made of recycled bottles. The tiny house hunting brothers watch them with bemused expressions, both of their heads touching the low ceiling. Oh my god. Okay, that does sound pretty that terrible. Wife, I told you I wanted a two bed, two bath, shabby chic cottage. This house doesn't even have a bathroom. Husband, oh honey, the old house is only 20 yards away. It's not that bad. Wife, I am not pooping outside, Greg. <laughs> Why don't they just get a regular sized house then? God. <laughs> hmm. I, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. How'd the, how'd afternoon tea go? <laughs> it got strange. We had to go to the school to pick up Lucian since he tried to, um, uh... Ah. He lured Lyris down the cellar with the promise Ernest. of vin- uh, uh, whatever. Ernest. He didn't lure me downstairs with the promise of said. wine. It would take a <laughs> oh, lot oh. more to get me down the fucking basement <laughs> than a bottle of wine. Even True. at 15. True. <laughs> no, Ernest right? down to the cellar with the promise of a- Fine, vintage, and then tried to brick him into the wall, right? How the fuck did you know that? Has everyone read this story except for me? <laughs> Lucian live streamed the entire thing. That. Oh my god. Prick. Oh, Perfect. I'm telling his dad right now. This entire day is beyond me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Ah, uh, hold on. Skype, Skype, come on. Skype, come on. We're almost done. No. Oh. <laughs> Skype! Oh, you're gonna have to read it. We can't. It, it went too crazy. But otherwise, it was a fun day. That Damien guy's a character, but he's really good company. And surprisingly, diplomatic dad. <laughs> <laughs> diplomatic dad. <laughs> we can't see anything. We can barely make oh, out the character. I dig his style. You know what? Me too. <laughs> Yay! Spend less money than you make. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good idea. Date complete. Oh, Joe Sama.
<laughs> Wait, there's actually one called Ojo Sama. <laughs> yeah, we've got respect. Oh Bowling, Ojo Sama, Fang, in a Ho, moons have I had a chick such as exquisite as this one. Ojo <laughs> Sama. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. But we got S rank, which is what oh, you need. Oh, yeah. Sweet.